So I would like to speak about what is postdoc and how to get postdoc after your PhD. First of all, postdoc is done after your PhD. As soon as your PhD, it is not something uh, you work for a while as a faculty and go into postdoc. It's not a good option. So the first thing you do postdoc as soon as you finish your PhD degree and uh, that's the best way to do it otherwise even you can do after some experience because sometimes you may not get opportunity as soon as you finish your PhD in that way what happens is uh, it becomes uh, a kind of delay to get your postdoc opportunity whether in your country or abroad so coming to a postdoc how to uh, get it in fact after your PhD now here, it depends mostly on your subject area and your research field. For some research fields, uh, there are big opportunities to go into postdoc, whereas for some subjects, you have a very limited postdocs. For example, uh, postdoc in English literature, uh, you have very less opportunities, whereas if you take postdoc in um, like um, STEM science, sciences, you will have a lot of opportunities for postdoc. So it depends on your subject whether to try for many opportunities uh, or not. And uh, here, uh, I would like to say some uh, important points. What exactly postdoc is meant for even before applying for it? Now, postdoc is meant uh, to improve your research skills if you are not really confident enough about your uh, research. You want to gain some experience, write some publications, write some papers and do some publications and get some enough exposure uh, towards research field. This is exactly the meaning of postdoc, but the meaning nowadays is not this. Nowadays postdoc is done mostly to improve the career chances, to improve the salary or to get a good job opportunity. Uh, this is the reason why many people do a uh, postdoc of course let me speak frankly and practically keeping aside all those professional things but this is the truth happening a uh, very very less people are doing postdoc just because they are passionate just because they are very much interested to uh, learn how to research to learn how to do a project among a team of professors or to publish papers and then come to academic academic field. So this is what happens exactly. So now, okay, whatever may be your intention of doing postdoc, that is unnecessary to me. But if you want to do postdoc, the first and primary option is to search for uh, your field of research and uh, where are the opportunities lying uh, in some universities and it's very difficult to find postdoc opportunities uh, just by reading a newspaper and you find some ads no or uh, some people may tell you no nobody knows where exactly the opportunity is lying so my best bet is just to go on to the job portals there are many online job portals where you can really uh, dig through uh, your postdoc uh, opportunity ads and uh, also you can visit some websites like for example researchersjob.com so in these websites you it will give all the postdoc opportunities out there uh, very well anyhow i'll give the link uh, here in the description uh, what are all the websites you can browse for postdoc opportunities now it happens the opportunity falls in this way that a team of professors in particular university gets funded for some project and uh, uh, they want to recruit some junior level nowadays even uh, if uh, you take india uh, you will find uh, postdoc is given according to the age limit if you cross uh, some age like for example some people tell 35 uh, if you are SE and ST candidate, it will, it will have a relaxation of five more years. So this way what happens, age limit also is becoming a criteria for postdoc, unlike PhD, which, doesn't, which do not, does not have any kind of uh, age criteria for PhD, but for, for postdoc, it so happens that age limit is 
are still existing in India and with some government universities, whereas in Amrod, um, it depends upon the norms of the university, but uh, not the 35 or 45. So, whatever may be. Now, if finding an opportunity is the uh, biggest challenge for you, for that I, I have given one station to go onto all job portals available out there like uh, nokri.com. Of course, these are not very specialized in postdoc opportunities, but there are, like I have just, just told you, researchersjob.com, uh, and also you have um, uh, findapostdoc.com. This is another website, findapostdoc.com. Uh, so you will have uh, opportunities, even if you type in Google search, searching plays a key role. Searching and be patient, and then you will get uh, somewhere the opportunity. And uh, it's a big challenge to get it. Uh, once you get the opportunity in your field of research, and if some team of professors from one particular university is trying to yeah, recruit some uh, postdocs, then the next step is to <clears throat> drop an email to them. Now here is where many people do mistake. What a kind of email they send is very pathetic. Just they send an email, I am blah blah blah, I am interested in a postdoc uh, in your university, just a regards and your name. This is not the way to send an email for a postdoc opportunity. The moment you find an opportunity, the moment you get the email contact of a, some particular team of professors in, in a particular university, the first thing you must do is just uh, prepare a lengthy email, lengthy email for postdoc, which means you must tell all your uh, research interests, what you have done in your PhD, and uh, how your thesis looks like, and how you want to grow. You. Uh, uh, make a cover letter one and one uh, e long email where you will express all your past experience, your research uh, experience and your passion, interest in detail. This way they will show some kind of um, uh, interest uh, in recruiting you uh, or if, if not recruiting at least they will call for, an, so for a Skype call or for an interview whatever maybe you may think so. So once you get that opportunity what you can do, uh, you can like negotiate your yearly stipe, uh, monthly stipend. Usually, postdocs in, in India, at least, uh, may not receive so big stipend. What my suggestion is to try always postdoc abroad instead of in your own country like US, UK, and Australia, Germany, Sweden. These are all countries where you have. Uh, Canada, you have a big, huge opportunities for postdoc, post whereas you will have good enough salary uh, ranging from so many things. So this is how, what you can do is uh, make yourself like comfortable to drop a lengthy email and wait for an interview call and to appear for an interview. And you have to do this for a few times because uh, before even going to postdoc, like uh, you will have to undergo many challenges. Uh, thank you so much for visiting uh, my YouTube channel. Uh, if you want to more information about postdoc, I'll be from now giving some important tips about postdoc in detail. But this is a basic explanation of what is postdoc and uh, how to go about basically uh, to do postdoc just uh, to get the basic uh, uh, details about uh, this uh, postdoc uh, yeah, putting forward. So. Uh, get in touch with my YouTube channel, subscribe and share this video if your friends are really dreaming about uh, doing the postdoc. Thank you so much. This is a, only a request video because some of my subscribers have been asking for the last one year uh, uh, to make a video on postdoc but uh, because this is a PhD study tips channel, uh, <clears throat> because of the subscribers uh, request I have done this. So kindly. Uh, share and if you are really interested to uh, look more videos on postdoc just comment below so that I will take more time to research dig what are the opportunities I will give you whatever I can from my side uh, to help you out to move to postdoc opportunity thank you so much and best of luck to you